。喂，咁多位大家好，我两 Sir， 今次呢段片咧好快嘅啫。听完呢段片之后咧，大家对于一个科学探究，点样去分辨翻实验装置咧，同埋对照装置咧，就一次过明晒噶啦。咁我就会用返二零一六年嘅第九条题目呢，做一个示范先嘅。咁当然啦，嗱要分呢个实验装置同埋对照装置啦，一定呢要讲一讲定义㗎啦。好多科学探究呢，我哋都有两个装置嘅，就係、是、对照装置同埋实验装置啦。咁实验装置同埋对照装置呢，就一模一样嘅，除咗呢对照装置呢，係欠缺咗要探究嘅因素，亦即係我哋嘅 independent variable 独立变项 IV。对照实验有咩咁重要呢？就系、是、确保翻实验结果咧，系由所探究嘅因素所造成嘅。所以当我哋要分辨实验装置同埋对照装置嘅时候咧，有一步系非常之重要嘅，就系、是、你要知道翻整个科学探究嘅目的何在啦。今次呢条题目咧，就系、是、想去探究一下，当一棵植物面对欠缺咗某款嘅矿物质底下，对佢嘅根茎嘅干重究竟有啲咩嘅影响嘅？所以喺整个科学探究底下个实验装置咧，应该系属于冇咗特定一款嘅矿物质，即系话啦，冇咗镁或者冇咗磷啦，咁佢哋各自咧都系其中一个实验装置，即系今次我哋有两个实验装置，得个实验装置系冇用噶嘛，我冇咗镁啦，冇咗磷啦，哦咁样佢个干重咧就低啲咯，哦从而啦，哦镁咧咪好紧要咯，磷咧咪好紧要咯。咁你就係知道佢哋個數字好低係冇用㗎嘛？你要話俾人哋聽，嗱，佢之所以咁低呢，係因為真係關個美事㗎。佢咁低呢，係因為真係關個論事㗎。所以我哋係需要一個對照裝置嘅數據作為一個比較嘅。而呢個對照裝置啦，同實驗裝置係一模一樣㗎嘛，除咗欠缺要探究嘅因素。所以喺對照裝置，我哋係唔會容許。缺乏矿物质嘅情况嘅，亦即系话今次嘅对照装置就系一个完全嘅营养液啦。所以今次咧呢度有三个装置，完全营养液系对照装置，缺乏咗镁同埋缺乏咗磷咧，分别系两个嘅实验装置。咁我哋就可以做比较啦，将实验装置缺乏镁嘅呢个情况同完全营养液嘅呢个对照装置去比较咧，我哋就会发现。原來冇咗味，佢個乾重有啲咩嘅變化呢？從而咧引申翻哦，對棵植物嘅成長有啲咩嘅影響呢？記住，你係攞翻個缺乏味同埋完全營養液嘅呢兩個裝置去比較，因為一個公平嘅測試咧，我哋只係容許一個 I V 嘅存在嘅啫。咁呢一 part 明咗之后呢，我哋就转一转个方向咯。如果我照样有返呢三个装置，但係我有一个新嘅科学探究目标，咁究竟我哋嘅实验装置同埋对照装置个配搭会唔会唔同呢？今次啦，我新嘅探究目标就係想探究一下啦，唔同嘅矿物质对于棵植物嘅根啦同埋茎啦嘅干重有啲咩影响呢？今次嘅实验装置就唔同啦，我哋係要想去探究唔同矿物质对个植物嘅成长影响啊嘛，所以实验装置呢，应该係俾晒所有矿物质佢嘅。相反啊，对照装置就係冇咗呢一个因素啊嘛，所以我係唔会俾晒所有嘢佢。咁咁即係俾啲咩嘅营养液佢呢？喺实验装置今次呢，就要俾完全营养液。但系对照装置就唔容许俾晒啊嘛，咁即系话俾少几多样啊？你只能够俾少一样，其中一个装置就系冇咗镁嘅呢款矿物质，另一个对照装置就系冇咗磷嘅呢一款矿物质。今次到佢哋变咗做对照实验咯，所以其中一个对照装置就系缺乏咗镁嘅呢款矿物质，另一个对照装置咧就系缺乏咗磷嘅呢个矿物质。咁記緊啦，都係做比較嘅時候呢，都係將完全營養液同鎂去比較，呢、這個作為一個嘅比較，去得出一個結論。哦，原來啦，有完整嘅營養液呢，就生得比缺乏咗鎂嘅呢款礦物質嘅營養液呢，就生得為之好喎、啊，棵植物。嗱，咁樣做一個比較。而第二個比較就係將完全嘅營養液同呢個缺乏磷嘅營養液又做一個比較，就得出第二個結論啦。Oh, s t u d e n t I'm Mr. Lang. This video is very short. I make sure that 
after watching this video, you are able to distinguish the experimental setup from the control setup in the scientific investigation. And I'm going to use the 2016 question 9 as the example. Before we talk about how can we distinguish these two setups, we need to talk about the definitions. In an experiment, an experimental setup and a control setup are often prepared. The control setup is identical to the experimental setup, except the factor under investigation is absent. And the importance of the control setup is to ensure the result of the experiment is due only to the factor under investigation. The critical step is to realize the aim of the scientific investigation. In this question, the aim of the investigation is to study the effect of mineral deficiency on shoot and root dry masses. Therefore, in the experimental setup, factor under investigation is the mineral deficiency. So there are two setups. One setup, magnesium deficiency. The second setup, phosphorus deficiency. There are two experimental setups. So what is the control setup? The control setup, it should be identical to the experimental setup, except the factor under investigation is absent. So the factor under investigation is mineral deficiency. That means in the control setup, we do not allow any mineral deficiency to occur. Therefore, in the control setup, we should provide a complete nutrient solution for the plants. So after we have this idea, what is the next? The next is that if there is a new aim of the scientific investigation, so will the experimental setup and the control setup change their role? So what we have done, we have to realize the aim of the investigation. What is the new investigation aim? We are going to study the effect of different types of minerals on shoot and root dry masses. In the experimental setup, what we are going to study is that we provide all nutrients for the plants. And in the control setup, we do not allow the plant to absorb all nutrients. So at this time, the experimental setup, it is the complete nutrient solution. And what about the control setup? One setup, it should be the magnesium deficiency. The other setup, it is the phosphorus deficiency. Compare the complete nutrient solution to the magnesium deficiency solution and compare the shoot and root dry masses. The second comparison is to compare the plant growth in the complete nutrient solution with the plant growth in the phosphorus deficiency nutrient solution. And then we shall have two conclusions. After you have this idea, let's take a look at the question. 